I want to talk about another four-letter word that I feel kills more dreams than a bullet. F-E-A-R. Fear. You've spoken to hundreds of successful entrepreneurs. How do they deal with fear? Because we all have it. We all have fear. We have fear of putting ourselves out there. We have fear of investing, you know, our life savings in our business. We have, it, it's always fear. But some people have the ability to look fear square in the face and still keep marching on. And others will be sitting on a million or billion dollar idea and do nothing with it. And one day they'll turn on the TV and they'll see their idea advertised and somebody else took it and ran with it. And the only difference was they let fear get the best of them. Well, I shared this on Instagram maybe two weeks ago or reshared it because it's not, again, it's something that I say often. Eliminating the possibility of failure also eliminates the possibility of success. Like there's no way to eliminate one without eliminating the other. And successful people, successful entrepreneurs in particular, uh, whether, again, whether you're talking about an entrepreneur like Earl Graves, whether you're talking about a basketball player like Michael Jordan, you know, who are talking about, nobody talks about all the, the game winning shots I missed. Correct. Which are way more than the ones he made. Because you don't remember it. You just, it hurts the night you miss it. <laughs> <laughs> the fans are mad the night you miss it, but they don't remember it. They only remember when you did it. So eliminating the fear of failure, I mean, or eliminating the chance of failure also eliminates the chance of success. Successful people understand that. They understand that it's not always going to work, that it may never work, but they're willing to endure the hurt to get to the, to, to the glory. So let me circle back to fear itself. Fear is a natural, healthy physiological response except it, it was created for life and death situations. Like fear, fear is in us to get us out of danger when we're in danger. So it, 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 it's, it's biologically sound to, to feel fear. The thing is, most of the things we fear now ain't going to kill us. If you get on a stage and make, and make a speech and you bomb, it's not going to kill you. <laughs> If you launch a business and the business goes bankrupt, it's not going to kill you. Most successful, really successful entrepreneurs have gone through several bankruptcies or failed businesses to get to the one that made their fortune. So if, happy you said that. Yeah. So happy you said it. If, if you, um, if you re in fact, people should read um, Why Should White Guys Have All the Fun, which is the autobiogra autobiography of Reggie Lewis. So that even though he's known for the TLC Beatrice deal, the, the, the near billion dollar leverage buyout that, that made him a legend, that book goes through all of the failed deals <laughs> that he had to get to to get to this other deal that made him a legend. So it's not that you shouldn't feel fear. It's that you should recognize that the first question I ask myself when I'm afraid, because it's not like I'm never afraid, is, is, is it going to kill me? If it doesn't work out, am I going to die? If it doesn't work out, is one of my kids going to die? If it doesn't work out, is my wife going to die? Or is it just going to be I lost money or I was embarrassed or I was disappointed? And what's happening now, we, we equate disappointment <laughs> with, with fear. But fear is life or death. So what's the common thread that I would say for successful entrepreneurs about how they view fear? And this is something that um, either I told my wife or my wife told me, Zara Green. The same physiological response you have to fear is the same physiological response you have when you're excited. Really? You know, Sweaty palms, heart starts beating fast, stomach tied up in knots. It's the exact same physiological response. So what I, what I, what I do now is I don't interpret my fear as fear. I, I, I uh, interpret it as excitement. Like if I'm about to try a new project, like when I started my class and the first, you know, the, my first class at Newark was in yep. June, but my original launch was April and only two people registered. And I was like, oh, Fear would have said, this ain't going to work, man. Forget that. Don't do it. You, I you, it as, can I highlight that for a second? Oh, I'm so happy you, you, you're pointing these little things out. I was going to talk about your master's class a little later in the interview. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it now because you just went somewhere that's so great. 
Yeah, well, I, it was an idea. I, it was the middle of the night. I woke up and told Zara, listen, I want to teach. Mm-hmm. And instead of waiting for me to invite somebody to invite me to teach, I'm just going to teach. I'm going to find a place to teach. And set it up in April. We put all kinds of social media promotion around it. And two people registered. And I was like, okay, let me just give them their money back. Fear would have said, this ain't, this ain't, I'm not doing this again. This is embarrassing. They don't care about me. Nobody wants to hear what I got to say. Excitement says, the same excitement that made me wake up in the middle of the night to say I wanted to do this. I was like, no, I'm going to do this and I'm just going to do this. And if only two people register, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to keep doing it. And the doing it makes it happen. But so my point about fear and anxiety in entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs take fear meaning that means I must really care about this. This must really be important to me if I'm afraid of how I'll feel if it won't work. So if it's that important to me, I'm going to do it even though I'm afraid. That's why I always tell people, well, how, how, much, how badly do you want this? Because if, if you didn't feel fear, you, that means you don't care. I take fear as a positive sign. This must be important to me. If it's that important to me, I'm going to walk through this fire. Because if I didn't feel fear, that means I probably shouldn't be doing it. I, 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 a lot of people, you know, usually people say the top fear, people fear public speaking more than they fear death. And people see me, I, I, you know, I, I teach, I lecture, I do keynote speeches around the country. As you mentioned, I'm represented by sharp speakers. I've been public speaking since I was a college student at rallies. And people are, oh, and I, and, and I tell them every day, every time I give a speech, I got to like pray because I'm so scared before I do it. Oh, man, we've seen you on CNN. You've spoken to these large audiences. What do you mean you're afraid? I tell people, the day I'm not afraid before I make a speech, I'm going to stop making speeches because that means I must not care anymore. I'm not afraid oh, because I, I can't do it. Going to, oh, such yeah. great gems you're dropping. Yeah, I'm not afraid because I don't think I can do it. I'm afraid that if I, what will happen if I do it poorly and what, how it will affect the people I'm trying to serve. So I told you, it's not that you should pretend you're not afraid or embrace the fear and use that as energy to make you more focused. Because that's what fear is meant to do. When you, when you become afraid in a life with that situation, your, your pupils dilate, all your blood rushes to your muscles. That's why you get flushed because it's a fight or flight response. You're like, I got to do something to save my life. I either got to run or I got to fight. Except for when you're afraid to make a speech, you're afraid to start a business. <laughs> it's not really a you're not literally going to die, you know, if the business doesn't work. So the thing is, take that energy, what I do, and, I, and the entrepreneurs and successful people I know do, is they take that feeling. They don't run away from it. They don't pretend it's not there. They take that energy and they channel it. Okay, I use my fear to double check my presentation. I'm going to use my fear to, to look at my, my numbers. I'm going to use my fear to try to just do everything I can that's within my control to make this go well. And more importantly, I'm going to use my fear to give me the extra strength and energy to take my shot. Like Michael Jordan was just as afraid when he took the shot as he would have been afraid if he had passed the ball off. Both of them take the same amount of energy, right? And both of them could have been legitimate decisions. Whether he passed the ball or shot the ball, it takes the same amount of energy. Successful people say, I got a choice to how I'm going to use this energy, the energy of my fear, and I'm going to use my energy to take my shot. That's the that's only difference. Use the energy to take your shot. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.